What's going on guys, Multigales HD here, as most of you guys probably already know. So guys, in this video today, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the new Corquette Classic Car in GTA 5 Online. That is part of the San Andreas Flight School update on GTA 5. And it's overall a very good Flight School update. I really do enjoy this DLC. Surprisingly enough, it's not going over really well on GTA 5 forums and GTA 5 on Twitter. But I really just enjoy it in general. So today I'm going to be showing you the Inverto, which is the, you know, the topless Corquette Classic on GTA 5 Online. Now this car is kind of a little bit different to say the least. It's very low to the ground and you would think a car this low to the ground would have great traction, right? I mean that's what all the race cars pretty much do. They get really low to the ground so that way that there's not a lot of air under them so that way they can turn really great. But honestly, it's pretty much the opposite. There is pretty much no traction on this car. So if you guys are looking for a drift car on GTA 5 Online, this is probably one of the cars for you, probably. Because this car just really just wants to drift, and it has some traction. So obviously, you're going to be able to hold it and control it pretty decent. But surprisingly enough, for as low as it is to the ground, you don't have an insane amount of control over it. So if you want to go flying around the corner, just completely just burning your tires off, you can definitely do that on GTA 5. Right there, you guys can see, I just lost traction. And that wasn't done on purpose. That was me trying to make a turn, and I just completely failed there. Now, a little bit of information about this car. It's $685,000 with the top was off, and I believe it was $725,000 with the top on. Now, the only difference with the top on and the top off is not very much, but if you have the hard top, which is a convertible, non-convertible, I should say, version of this, it has a split window in the back, so you can kind of see a little bit of a better view compared to if you have a convertible. But the difference is pretty slim to none. There's not many differences other than if you prefer having a convertible top or not. Now, I want to go ahead and show you this clip that I had that I thought was pretty hilarious because you can get some really good jumps with this car, surprisingly enough. And I think the biggest surprise was when I landed, it did like absolutely no damage at all to this car other than like a scratch. So it's definitely, definitely a good car if you wanted to go on like a gun rampage or whatever on GTA 5. Then it's definitely going to be a car that lasts and you can also go drifting around the corners if you wanted to. So, you know, other than that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys could, please hit a like rating and leave me a comment about what you guys think of this new DLC. Do you guys like the new Corquette Classic, which is a convertible? Or do you like the one that has the hard top? Let me know in the comments section below. But until next time, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name, of course, is Multi Kills HD, and I'm out.